I want to turn now to CBS News Chief Washington correspondent and host of Face the Nation, Bob Schieffer. Bob, good morning. Good morning. Harry. So earlier this week it was Afghanistan. Now it's jobs. There's the small matter of health care that is still brewing on several burners on the White House stove. Do you remember a time when a president had as many irons, critical irons, in the fire as this one seems to have right now? Oh, I suppose during uh, the dark days of World War II, Harry, but uh, my heavens, I mean, as we uh, approach this Christmas season, uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be very much under the tree mm. uh, for this administration. I mean, you saw this jobs fair yesterday, but as the president uh, talked to people during this jobs fair, he was saying, you know, in the end, it's going to be up to private enterprise to uh, find the jobs to get us out of this. That's another way of saying there just isn't any more uh, money that the government has, uh, even to try to stimulate this economy. Later today, I think you're going to hear the the uh, unemployment figures come out. Uh, we're going to be in double digits again. Uh, the president's going out of Washington to try to uh, uh, get in touch with what's happening on the jobs front. Well, the fact is he knows what's going on on the jobs front. People are out of work, and that is what's driving so much of this discontent right now. But where does this go? I mean, uh, we now have this trillion-dollar deficit this year. Uh, we're one trillion dollars in hock to the Chinese government mm. uh, as far as the national debt. These are not very good times right yeah, now for this yeah. administration or, or for the country. Uh, I will want to talk about who you've got on the show on Sunday in a second. But in the meantime, uh, there's this other sideshow with these White House party crashers. They denied, did <laughs> not go, end up going to the hearing they were called to that they got invited to yesterday. And there's this other issue then of wanting Desiree Rogers to come and testify. Is this a tempest in a teapot or does this... Or, or does this continue to fester and grow? Uh, it, it, no, I don't think it's a tempest in a teapot because, and here's why, Harry. Uh, I think the government ought to prosecute these people. And if that means sending them to jail, so be it. Uh, this is not only, uh, you know, a security issue, people being able to get into the White House and get up close to the president. And who knows where that ki a pl a kind of thing goes. But this is also sort of an insult and, uh, to the American people. Mm. State dinners are part of the symbols of our, of our democracy, like the White House itself, like uh, the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. Uh, and when people are, are making fun of those things, when they're uh, doing what these people did, that's an insult to all of us. Mm. And uh, I, I hope the government continues to prosecute this. And if, it if these people go to jail, uh, that'll be just fine with me, frankly. Uh, Bob Schieffer, thank you so much. We will look forward. Strong letter to follow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold back next time, Bob. <laughs> All right. A reminder that uh, you want to watch Bob Schieffer and Face the Nation on Sunday. He will be interviewing Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Defense Secretary Robert Gates.